Hi, I'm Hannah. And I'm Caroline. And we're going to be talking about the endomembrane system today. Uh, so the entire process starts in the nucleus where the mRNA transcripts are initially made and then they're secreted through the pores here and what happens next depends on if they'll be secreted or if they'll stay in the cytoplasm or other different things. If they're going to be going to the rough endoplasmic reticulum, they're going to have a specific sequence that's going to be telling them to go there. If not, they're going to be synthesized by one of these free ribosomes and then the protein will just be used in the cytoplasm for whatever it needs to be used for. So if it is attaching to one of these uh, ribosomes that are on the rough ER, then the mRNA is going to attach to one of these that are um, on the membrane of the rough ER and the protein is just directly translated straight into the uh, rough ER. The mRNA transcript doesn't actually go into the rough ER. And now in the rough endoplasmic reticulum, the protein is synthesized and it also gets another, um, it also gets another sequence put onto it depending on um, where it needs to go after that. In this particular case, it's going to the Golgi body. So it's going to get a specific sequence and the protein is going to be taken to the Golgi body. And then in the Golgi body, it undergoes further processing and packaging. And that sequence that was put on it to be put into the Gol to be taken to the Golgi body is then going to be taken off and a new sequence is going to be put on it. And now that sequence is going to differ depending on the particular type of protein. It's going to be a more specific sequence depending on whether the protein perhaps needs to go to a lysosome or needs to be taken to the cell membrane to be put into a membrane for the, uh, as a membrane protein or perhaps it's just going to be taken outside of the cell and maybe used as an extracellular signal. Okay, so now we're going to be talking about how proteins exactly bud off from the Golgi and are taken to their specific locations. Now, if we look at this picture, we can see that there are different types of proteins here with different types of uh, signal sequences that were put on it by the Golgi body. We can see like yellow, orange, and we see purple here. Um, some, of these, some of these proteins are going to be taken to other organelles. Some are going to be taken to the plasma membrane for secretion. In this case, we're just going to be following ones that are taken to the lysosomal compartment. In this case, the signal sequence is called um, mannose-6-phosphate. Mannose-6-phosphate is this orange signal sequence right here, and it's, it's like a tag. And what it does, it, it, attaches it, it attaches it to a specific receptor on the Golgi body. And um, you can see the receptors here. It attaches to this, and that tells the Golgi body to um, to butt off, and in this case it's called receptor-mediated exocytosis because it's being exported outside of the cell, and it bubbles off and you can see it travels here, and then this receptor binds to another receptor that's on the pre-lysosomal compartment, and that uses receptor-mediated endocytosis to, um, to release the proteins the lysosomal proteins into the lysosomal compartment. Okay, so to further explain how the protein is translated into the rough ER at the beginning of the endomembrane system, we can see here we have our ribosome. So at the beginning, first what it, uh, first what it has is it translates the uh, signal sequence, which is these first couple of polypeptides that you see here. And um, here you can see that these first couple of polypeptides, they're able to bind to the SRP particle, which is the signal, rec signal recognition particle. And through the signal recognition particle, it is able to bind to the SRP receptor. And because it uh, binds to the SRP receptor, you can see it's binding here to the lumen of the rough ER. Now this, what used to be free ribosome, is now one of the attached ribosomes to the rough ER. And now further synthesis of the polypeptide can continue to occur. So the protein continues to be made here. And then the SRP is removed as the rest of the protein is, continues to be made into the rough ER. And lastly, the 
signal sequence is removed and protein that it its synthesis is completed in the rough ER, so it would form its secondary, tertiary, and quaternary structures. <laughs>